Hello and welcome to a, another Bad Seed Brighton video. It's the end of October, beginning of November. Just tidying the garden a bit. Uh, but thought I would share with you two properties, uh, both in Lower Normandy, not very far apart from each other. Um, slightly different to what I mainly uh, look for for myself. Um, so the two properties I'm going to show are more what I would think of as holiday home rather than retirement properties. Um, for me, that means a slight change in the criteria, less land. Uh, I guess if you're um, just visiting a holiday home, you don't want something that you're going to spend the entire weekend cutting the grass. You no, know, what you're looking for perhaps is a smaller property, uh, more manageable grounds, uh, lock up and leave. I think is is one of the phrases but somewhere that's a nice base to be getting out and exploring the surroundings so with that said let's jump straight into the properties um let me know what you think in the comments um i hope they're of interest so the two properties we're going to look at today both are within 15 minutes of a little town called Veer in Normandy. So normal ports apply. I guess Saint Malo and Caen being the closest. And then Cherbourg, Lave, Dieppe, a little bit further down the road. The first property is advertised with first for frenchproperty.com it's just to the north of via uh, so officially it's in calvados and it's in a little place called souleuve en bocage described as being um, quiet property without near neighbors which perhaps is a bad thing for a holiday home uh, but a countryside environment, stone dwelling house comprising a kitchen, a living room, three bedrooms and a bathroom with just over five and a half thousand metres uh, of land. So looking at this first picture of the house itself, anyone who's seen my channel before knows this property would appeal to me. It looks like the archetypal house a five-year-old would draw. Um, I think it scores well on the holiday home um, scale with the shutters to the door and windows. You know, you can lock that up when you leave. Uh, I don't think you'd have too many concerns. Properties approached by this long drive. I'm a little bit confused. Uh, the description says the property has two outbuildings. And in this picture here, you can see there's a structure just in right of camera shot with two other buildings ahead. So I guess between the three, this is the property and the two outbuildings. So very scant details on the website for this property, uh, but that's often the case. The agent trying to encourage you to make contact to get further details. Uh, but you can see nice, well-lit, clean, modern kitchen, some built-in units, prerequisite for me, nice wide cooker. You can see the hallway 
and the stairs leading off from the kitchen. And also in the kitchen, you've got this old, big old range. There's a couple of pictures here of the lounge joining the kitchen. And I think this is one of the negatives of this property. It doesn't look enormous. But then again, if it's a holiday home, how much time are you actually going to be spent sitting here? And like so many people nowadays, you know, we spend more time in the kitchen than we did previously. So it's not necessarily the biggest drawback in the world. The occupants of this property, obviously using under the stairs as a utility room, maximizing the space. And you can see also that there's a downstairs toilet. Just a shot there going up the stairs. Uh, ideal. Si vous avez besoin de de vieille petite vélo. Uh, from the upstairs, we've got bedrooms one, two, and three. Looks to me like uh, the main bedrooms are double and two singles. Again, they're not the largest rooms you've ever come across, um, but the floors look solid. No apparent signs of damp. Um, although I do worry when I see the, the bedding encased in these plastics. Photo here of the uh, toilet or bathroom coming off the hall landing. Yep, picture of the bathroom, nice, clean, modern, well tiled. And then finally, you've just got a picture of the garden. Um, land to 5,500 meters. And, and that really rounds up property one. Okay, the second property I'd like to show you is actually uh, available on the frenchproperty.com website. It's about as far south from Vere as the first property was north, and it's situated in a little commune called San Christophe de Chaleur. Uh, so this time, the property has just over 7,000 meters of land, three bedrooms, one bath, uh, again described as being a rural cottage set in a peaceful countryside setting, lovely views of the surrounding land, uh, just over two acres at 7,000 meters, separated into garden, and woodland. Uh, property has its own well and uh, some fruit trees in the garden. I don't know if I'm becoming an old warrior, uh, but something I think concerns me sometimes is when I look at a property and there are more pictures of the exterior of the property than there is of the interior. And that is the case in this instance. Uh, having said that, uh, again, property scores well on the holiday home scale. You know, there's gates to the property. And they're going to be ideal when you're, you're leaving the property unattended. I think the next couple of pictures are interesting and there's some pros and cons here. So this photo shows cattle in the next field. 
Now, for me, I'd pay extra for that. I love cows. Um, if you look at the next picture, just by the entrance to the property, you can actually see there's, I guess, tractor marks. And I think it's a right of way for, I suppose, a farmer to access his fields. And that's something you're going to have to bear in mind. You know, if you are in a rural location surrounded by agricultural land, as this property does appear to be, there's nothing to stop the farmer doing whatever he wants with the land adjoining your property. So whether that's muck spreading, use of noisy agricultural machinery, you know, that's all part of the package. These last couple of external pictures, it, you know, there are some lovely views. Um, if we go inside the property, we've got a couple of pictures of the kitchen. Uh, and I think uh, what I would call perhaps a T-shape lounge. I think this is actually being used as an office at the moment, but you could perhaps rejig the layout to make it a bit more spacious. It looks like this property is owned by an English family. We've got a, a picture here of the bathroom. And then again, upstairs, three bedrooms. Again, good size double main bedroom. Bedrooms two, bedrooms three, not looking uh, enormous. You're not going to be playing badminton in them. But then again, if you're using this as a holiday home, are you going to A, be using all the bedrooms? Are you going to be in there for a long time? I don't think that's a deal breaker. Okay, I think that rounds up the two properties. So, how much? Uh, property one, Souleuve en Bocage in Calvados, three bedrooms. It says one bath. We've seen the ensuite. Uh, five and a half thousand square meters. One hundred and forty nine thousand euros. Call it one hundred and fifty thousand euros. Uh, one hundred twenty four thousand. Call it one hundred twenty five thousand pounds. US dollars. That's one hundred and sixty. And then property two, three bedroom cottage, 7,000 square meters, Saint Christophe de Choleur, 110,000 euros. That's actually just 91,000 pounds sterling or about 117,000. US dollars. So, what do you think? So, there you go. Um, two properties, I think both with their own pros, both with their own cons. Um, personally, neither of them tick all my boxes. But having said that, you know, they're nice holiday home material um, so i would be interested to know what you think in the comments thanks for watching um thank you if you take the trouble to like the videos share them if you subscribe if you've subscribed thank you very much we're on the road to 200 which i can't actually believe um have a great week and i'll see you next time